In this presentation, we'll review some of the options you have for delivering instruction in your online course. In a face-to-face -face class, students learn from experiences like lectures, class discussions, group work, presentations, and hands-on experience. But how do students learn in an online course? First, there is no one best way to deliver instruction in an online course. Every course is unique, so you'll need to think about your course objectives. How will you teach so students can meet those objectives? Then, how will you assess if students have mastered the objectives? One of the most commonly used forms of instruction in a face-to-face -face and online course is reading. This can include chapters or pages in textbooks, articles, online sources such as content from government websites or professional organizations. Keep in mind that you won't be there to introduce each reading to students, so it's helpful if you include text that provides the context that you normally would give in a face-to-face -face class. You may also want to provide guiding questions or brief description of what students should be looking for in the reading. Another common form of instruction in a face-to-face -face course is a lecture. An alternative for this in an online course is a narrated presentation. There are free, relatively easy to use programs to help you create an online presentation. But before you dive into creating your recordings, you'll need to consider the length of your presentations. While you may typically deliver a lecture that's 45 minutes or longer, that length's not conducive for online learning. Many students choose to take an online course because of the flexibility. Your students may only have short periods of time to work, for example, during their lunch break, late at night after the children are in bed, or on their commute to work. So, it's helpful if long lectures are broken down into shorter segments. Also, there's research that indicates breaking a video lesson into smaller segments actually improves student learning. After reviewing the research about this, Clark and Mayer noted that when you are teaching complex materials or have unfamiliar learners, one long lesson that contains a lot of interrelated concepts can overload students' cognitive systems. To reduce the chances of cognitive overload, keep the length of your narrated presentations to under 15 minutes. When creating your narrated presentations, the easiest place is to start with an existing presentation, maybe in PowerPoint. You may also want to create a script to go along with your presentation. This can help you to organize your thoughts before you begin and keep you on topic as you record. Your script can then be used to add closed captions to your video. The drawback of reading from a script for your presentation is that there is research that indicates using a conversational speaking style rather than a formal style improves student learning, and that can sometimes be difficult with a script. You may also want to consider supplementing your course with media you curate from other sources. For example, your textbook publisher might provide video segments or websites that relate directly to textbook topics. Professional organizations, nonprofit organizations, and yes, even YouTube can be great sources for media that creatively explain topics related to your discipline. When you select content from other sources, be selective. For example, you might find an outstanding online presentation from a respected professional in your field, but only a portion of the recording applies to the objectives of your course. If you provide students with the minute markers of relevant sections, students can focus their attention on the portions that apply to what they're learning and have the option of reviewing the entire recording. Curating content can add variety to your course provide an alternative viewpoint, and offer sophisticated means of explaining complex concepts. This video has highlighted a few of the ways you can deliver instruction in an online course, including readings, online presentations, and curating resources.